what's next is uh after this which maybe tomorrow i'll start it tomorrow if i feel like it is uh metroid prime one which that will probably be a long game i would imagine i don't know how long that game is the all i've only played it a little bit on original gamecube well no on my wii but you know the gamecube version with t the nasty tank controls did i load a suspend point I'm pretty sure I did. Let me check. I don't want to fuck up again. Ever since I did it that one time, I don't want to fuck fuck it up. Yeah, we're doing two dungeons. No, that's today, me. But me, not... me from the past. That's not real me. There we go. Did I save state? I need to know. I did save state. All right. I I needed to double check. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. Load. All right, yeah, because Ganon's tower is literally just right here, and then that, that's it. We're in Ganon's tower. I don't know how... Yeah, like I said, this could be a shorter one. Me when I end Zelda. There's a dolphin that lets you play Metroid Prime with a mouse and key, keyboard. Yeah, but I don't like that. I don't play mouse and keyboard games. The only ca keyboard and mouse games I've ever played are fucking... Where's this go? I've, I played are like uh, TF2 and Minecraft. I don't play shooters because I'm a bitch. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, those oh, the, the uh, Lionels. Those are Lionels. Fuck you. I got the Master Sword, and I got a full, got a full power. I got big shield. I got best tunic. Shoes are good for mouse. I know, but I, I just don't. I. Wait, how do I get up here? Oh, Link, we are going to break the barrier, barrier of Ganon's tower. Look at those pig faces. This is probably the most... This game's version of Ganon is probably the most iconic version of Ganon. Even if it... Even if... I don't know. It's not... I think I like the design in, like, uh... Four Swords a little bit better. Or the Oracle games. At least in the artwork. I flip-flop on whether I like the Pig Beast Ganon or Ganondorf more. But here we are. Look. How long is this dungeon? Uh... Wrong thing. This has got fucking seven floors. Actually, you know what I should do? You know what I should do? Uh, I need... Before I do, I should probably go get potions and shit, huh? I got this magic potion, but I should probably go buy a, go buy a blue potion. Before I do any of this. I'm missing two items. I'm guessing they're optional shit. Uh, are you gonna start with another game or just kill Ganon and call it stream? Never mind, I just saw the seven floors and got my answer. Yep. No, I want to go to the Light World video game. How about like Twilight? Oh, I don't like I don't like that Ganon because that's a bit too beast. Like I don't know. I like I like big with the Trident Ganon. All right, uh, Ocarina. Go to the Witch's Hut. Get buy some of that blue if I have enough. If I don't, I'll just buy the red. I don't have enough. I only enough for the red. There we go. The one time I'm short on rupees, and it's when I actually need it. Alright, uh... You want more hearts? Eh, no, I don't, no, I mean, I'm, I think I'm decent on hearts. That's not what I'm worried about. It's just, you know, I'm gonna need that. Cause I'm, look at, I'm already failing here, cause this fucking snake bitch. Fuck this person. My neck does hurt a little bit, also. Like I said, we had a party yesterday, so my I'm a little I'm even though I didn't really participate. Whenever there's a party at our house, I just don't fall. I just stay in my room. I'm not a I don't like parties. I like hanging out, but I don't like parties, you know what I'm saying? I'm not you know, when you have like fifty people here and our house isn't like the biggest house in the world, and then like there's little kids that try to come in and bug me, man. Ask and play my video games. God damn it. Uh please. Here we go. Is this not gonna work? Okay, I was gonna be like, is it because I have the mirror portal right there? So how's everyone doing? It's been how how was everyone's day yesterday? Hope everyone's doing good. You guys talked about cheese and chat earlier, and now I'm hungry. Now I want some of the little cheese cubes we got in the fridge. Maybe I'll grab those later. Alright. Oh god damn it. Now I gotta I gotta go back here and go to the dark world. One second. Whatever, it's, it, this probably isn't going to be the longest stream anyways, because it's, it's just one dungeon I got to do and then a boss fight. 
Doesn't seem like it's going to be that big of a deal. I need the hammer then, if I'm going to warp back. I should be able to break that guy when he's a statue, and that's how you kill them. There we go. I watched Sonic 2 with Eris yesterday. Mm-hmm. It was quite fun. Good. How many... I do not have a fairy. I can do that right now. Real quick. Please stop. Nope. Okay, I just absorbed her. All right. I guess that's how it goes. Pretty good. I was... I went to Massachusetts and back and that killed me. Oof. It, it's, it's always... It's so weird how, like, uh... How just, like... Maybe not even the one driving, but just sometimes a long car ride can just feel like... Uh, tire you out so much. Must not be able to from, like, moving around. But then again, I don't move around all fucking day. I'm... I'm just, like, uh, sitting in a chair most of my days. Oh, you know what came out in theaters and I want to go see it is The Bad Guys. Because that's a very good-looking movie. I've been... I want to go see that, but I don't know if I want to go to theater... The theater again so soon. You know what I mean? I don't know if I want to go to the theaters for that. I went to theaters for Sonic, but... Well, I guess if I went to theaters for Sonic, why not? Because it's still, you know, it's still not great to be going to big, packed movie theaters. Yeah, it was tiring, but fun. <laughs> the best you can ask for in a long car ride is at least it looking nice outside. Like, when we go to Monterey, that's like a six-hour drive. Or seven hours, it could be. Depending, you know, how traffic can get. I guess I'll just go up. I don't know what to expect in this dungeon. I've never done this dungeon. Uh. Alright. Oh, these fucking things again. No, not these fucking goblins. I don't want to deal with this thing again. Oh, I have to kill it. All right, well. There goes that one. I want... Oh, I don't... Stop! I need magic powder. Oh, there we go. And there's my fairy. Ah. Why are those things... What's the lore? What's the lore? Why are they... Why? What's with the fairies? Why are they fucking evil little things sometimes? I need my bow. There we go. No, that's not it. What do I need to go then? Maybe I just need to go this way. Maybe there's a switch under the skull. No. Where am I going then? Yeah, but it'll be fun. Oh, there we go. It'll be, uh... I've never gotten far in metroid prime either so that'll be fun to do as well i don't know how much i'll like it like whenever i play a game i haven't played before like uh, always ex you know unless it's like a new like you know something like kirby obviously but always expect me it's like if i don't enjoy it i will just like you know i'll stop and end up you know i'll stop playing it oh there's no match against this new shield if this fucking spike thing would get out of my way There we go. Please. I want that. I want this. Fuck you. Ooh. They probably don't like, uh, don't like you enslave them in bottles. Oh, so they turn to evil little fucked up things. That is true. You know what came out today, and I'm gonna watch it later. Ow, and I'm gonna watch it later today is, um... Is that prehistoric planet, like, document, like, you know, the same people that make, like, Blue Planet and all those documentaries, and it's narrated by David Attenborough, but it's dinosaurs, accurate, di biblically accurate dinosaurs. I'm already gonna die. And I'm excited to watch that, I want to watch that with my folks, that's what we're gonna do after I stream, most likely. So if it is a shorter stream, that would also help with that. Alright, I don't have a key, so this room is useless to me right now. So I need to go back. I need to go back down. Explore the other rooms. Yeah, this will also be my first time even just ever completing this game. I've completed... That was a voice crack. I've completed Link Between Worlds, but I haven't completed this. Uh, dead. Can I get this with the boomerang? Well, can I get the... What? Oh... There we go. I'll take that. Uh, I'll, mm, I'm debating what I want to do here. If I want to go back and open up that door. I mean, it's probably... I'll go through here. Oh, why not? I'll, I'm down here. Ten arrows. 
Uh, bombs. Got some bombs. Yep. I don't know why you've given me that prompt like six dungeons in. Uh, oh, this just leads back up here. So did I waste that key right now? That key just... There's another door. Um, you, you, like... I've never thought about it, but you gotta put, like, a lot of thought in this fuck in these fucking games to, like, make sure you don't soft-lock the player by going in the wrong room, get using the wrong key. Is that ever... Is there is there ever a case in that in any Zelda game where there's, like, a, uh... a soft-lock moment? Oh, I see what I gotta do. This is a hookshot room. I always forget the... I have the hookshot. Uh, I have a feeling I want to go this way. Bada bing. I was also right before stream, I was watching The Lion King. Because I was watching uh, Your Movie Sucks, YMS's video on the live ac live action, in quotations, not really live action, Lion King. And just how fucking bad and dumb it is. And it's like, why did they make, like, that's, that's like the biggest example of someone being like, more real, so better. I mean, I don't religiously watch this guy or whatever. I was just watching the video. I see. I see. There we go. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I was just watching him talk about, like, I don't know. I, I, I thought Jen Favreau, Jan, John Favreau was a good, okay, was an okay guy. Because, you know, he makes some, you know, he makes the Marvel movies, which I do like to a certain extent. Uh... What the fuck am I got it? What do I got to do here? And then I got to put a. This is what I got to do. Uh, but I don't know. Then, but then he, the way when you hear him in interviews, oh, huh. Can't toss him over the wall. Maybe like that. Uh, he just talks about how, like, oh, they couldn't have done this. This will be a, the better version or whatever. He's talking about, like, oh, yeah, you know, this will have the, the fixed music that Hans Zimmer always wanted. So this will be the better version. Or, like, oh, t John Earl Jones being older and sounding like a grandpa for Mufasa is better, actually, than it was for the original. And it, I don't know. It's a little weird, man. I don't know. You keep saying, like, it's going to be, like, a documentary. Meanwhile, it's still a movie with talking animals that don't emote, even though lo actual lions do emote. So And somehow, like, these... The fake animals in the Lion King remake somehow emote less than actual real lions. It's like saying animals don't emote with their face is like saying... I don't know. They don't breathe because you don't see... I don't fucking know. It's dumb either way. Oh, okay, I see. Quick shot, please. I'm just glad for the time being it seems that they've stopped with that. With the fucking live action remakes. Seth Rogen Pumbaa, I know, that's what I'm, I'm, man. And, like, it, the colors are just gross in the movie. They're dirty and nasty. Meanwhile, in real life, if you look at a fucking jungle in real life, there are bright-ass purples and greens and blues and pinks. It's not fucking uh, dirt, dirt color only. That's the biggest thing I always problem with any, like, live-action adaption of, uh of these Disney movies or any animated thing is that it's like, they just sap all the color out and it's like, why? Cause it's more adult. I don't understand. And in the video too, he showed like, uh, video, like clips of like people on the fine brothers react, reacting to the trailer. And it's like, I don't know. These people don't even know what they're fucking talking about. They're like, Oh, this is going to be so cool. Oh, looky, oh, look, oh, my, Disney got a bigger budget or whatever. And it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, I don't know. There's this feeling over the past two decades or so that even probably, you know, ever since CG basically kind of came in the mix that 2D something it movies were 2D only because of limitations and not because of that's what they wanted it to look like. Like people think like, oh, if you made it, why would you make a 2D movie when you could do CGI these days? But like, that's not the fucking that's not the point. OK, I have no fucking idea what I'm doing in this. Oh, OK. That's not the fucking point of, like... CGI movies didn't replace 2D movies. They just... No one wants a fuck... It's just that none of these studios think a 2D movie would sell. Even though... Um, like, I don't know. They would. I really like Prince... I like Princess and the Frog more than, like, fucking Encanto. I'll tell you that much. I really like Princess and the Frog. That was a good movie. That doesn't get enough dues. 
Even if it is another one of those stories of the main black character turns into like a funny creature. What the fuck do I do here? Oh, wait. Don't I need the silver arrows? Wait a minute. I might. One second. I might need. I might have fucked up here. I might need to leave the dungeon. I might need to go to the fat fairy and get like silver arrows. Silver arrows link. Link to the past. I need to look. I might. I think I need these. Uh, silver arrows are powerful arrows used to defeat Ganon. Lose link to the past in the games. Maybe blah, blah, blah. Uh. Where do you get them, though? Silver arrows are given a link by the fat fairy inside the power pyramid. Once the, oh, I need to throw my... I need to go back. I need to go back. I need to get the silver arrows. Uh, I can't believe... Sorry, I gotta cut the dungeon. Like, I gotta stop in the middle of the dungeon. Uh, alright. Really wish I could... Uh, fast travel in the dark world. But the game says no, you're stupid. Hmm... So I'm gonna have to like go to Ka Kaker Kakariko Village, evil Kakariko Village, and then walk to the pyramid from there, because I have no other way. I don't know if there's a closer way to the dark world from there. Fuck you! Get out of here! You're like the bitch tier enemy now. I will say, I think the Jungle Book live action remake was the only one I somewhat enjoyed, and that even could have been because Bill Murray. I don't know. Felt dip it wasn't like I don't know. Because the original Jungle Book isn't, like, that good of a movie, you know what I mean? That was, like, before the re Renaissance, right? The Disney Renaissance when, you know, they're going... Th even though I do a lot of those movies from the 70s and 80s, I do like, like, I... I what am I doing? What am I doing? I have nostalgia for aristocrats and, uh... And, like, uh... Second, it's so weird... The scope between the f the two Rescuers movies, like the first Rescuers and then Rescuers Down Under, is so fucking funny. Because one of it is like that weird scratchy, so, you know, sh style, pencil looking style. And the second one is like this breathtaking, super well animated, super gorgeous looking movie with like huge stakes. Like, uh, yo, this McLeach is gonna fucking kill this kid and throw him into the fucking alligator pit. Uh. Meanwhile, the first one is just like, oh, some lady puts a kid down a well for some diamonds. I don't know. I think that's, I don't know. It's so, I don't know, especially those villains, right? The lady, the villain lady in the first rescue is like just some broad. He's like, whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, uh. But in the second, McLeach is cool. I like McLeach. And his, I don't know. He's just so cool. The way he talks is so, who the fucking is his voice actor? He looks like. He looks like a animated Brian Cranston. He look that's what he looks like when I look at him. He looks like an animated Brian Cranston McLeach from Rescuers Down Under. And also I like the big eagle as a little child. I was like, oh cool, big eagle. I remember I watched the Black Cauldron as a kid too, and that scared the and that movie scared the shit out of me. The Horned King actually made me piss myself. Maybe that's why I have such an affinity for those type of characters, though. Like, the Lich from Adventure Time and just, like, evil skeleton magic users. That movie was fucked up. Uh, I can't go this way. I gotta go around. Up and around. Dogs are barking, but you know what? Uh, None of them are in my room, so it doesn't even matter. No one's even here. They're just being bitches. Wait... You're talking about pre- Yeah, I'm talking about pre-Renaissance Disney movies. Because the first Rescuers was, and I think- I don't know when the second Rescuers came out. But it definitely- You know, even though I know a lot of those movies probably didn't come out in the 70s, like Aristocats and the first Rescuers. Just, I've, I've, I associate that, like, sketchy style with, like, 70s Disney so much. That that's just what I- that's what I think in my brain. Alright. Skip the silver bow and arrows. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. I guess I forgot. Throw an item. Yerp. Shit, my favorite one is probably Fox and the Hound. Fox and the Hound's pretty good. 
I remember I watched that. Yes, I did. You want to as well give you something. The silver arrows give Ganon his last moment. We definitely need them. Yep. I like how there's nothing in the game that tells you this. I bet there's like something in like Ganon's tower, like Sahasrila in a little block tells you, you need the silver arrows, you dumb fuck. All right. Let's get back into the dungeon. Uh. Tch -tch -tch. When, when, uh, pre-Disney movies, that's what we were talking about. Yeah, I like, I like, I'm, I, like I said, I'm more of a Black Cauldron guy. I, why did that, like, the, the history of that movie is so bizarre about how, like, at one point, the fucking executives were literally taking the footage themselves and editing it, like, cutting up the footage and, like, just, like, taking pieces out and it was, like, a fucking nightmare. And the director had to, like, go in and try to fix it again under their noses and shit. It was fucking crazy. That shit's crazy. You can't really blame that movie for not being the best. The best part of that movie is the Horned King because he's fucked up and cool and evil. You see where he, where he gives up Todd? I think that's the name of the fox. It makes me uh, want to cry like a bitch. It's sad that the whole reason she names him Todd is because, like, he's like a toddler and she never had kids or something. And it's kind of fucked up. In that movie, just like, in a, but in a bunch of pre-Renaissance Disney movie, that one guy voices a whole shit ton of characters in it. He voices, like, the older dog in that movie. He's, like, in every pre-Renaissance Disney movie. They're like, oh, it sounds like this. He kind of whistles when he talks like, oh, Dutch, oh, Dutch, what are you doing? You know what I'm talking about? That's what I'm talking about. What's another pretty good? I mean, Aristocats, I have... The only real thing I remember from the... Well, I mean, I remember the... Oh, my, but the, the only two things I remember, really, from the Aristocrats are the scene where Edgar eats the cracker and dips it in, like, milk or whatever the fuck it is. And then the, uh... And then, obviously, the Everybody Wants to Be a Cat song. That, I would sing that when I was a little child. That got stuck in my head. That must have been annoying for my parents. Uh... Actually, I just need- I just need you, like, now. Fuck you. What's it more pre-gun? I- how many pre, like- The Sword in the Stone is, like, whatever. There's another pre-Renaissance Disney movie that there was that I actually really like. What was it? What is it? What am I thinking of? It's not Sword in the Stone. It's weird how, like- Is Jungle Book- It's weird how Jungle Book is, like, a pre- renaissance disney movie but that's like a very beloved property like i don't know you don't see people going looking at the sword in the stone and being like yes this is yes this is a, the most beloved disney property ever but with jungle book maybe because it's based off a book even if they did f out even though if Shere in the book Shere khan is way more fucked up and evil than he is in the you know what's okay here's the one dumb thing about the jungle book remake that they did like for the most part i think it's fine it's not like that bad but they don't have the dumb little crows that go like oh i don't know what do you want to do i don't know what you want to do that are like the beatles that they're supposed to be the beatles it's fucked up man can't have goofy characters in your movies anymore i suppose uh, i'm like i'm glad that I don't know. It seems as time goes on, more people are less and less like, what, you watch fucking cartoons? My brother is like that. Like, he'll be like, bro, you only watch animated shit, or like, you only, why do you only like, like, he's not like, he doesn't get that pissed or that mean about it, but he's like, bro, you need to play like an actual game. You need to play like, you know, an actual game or whatever. You know, it'll be like a real game. And I'm like, bro, what do you, what the fuck do you consider a real game, my man? My man. I fucked up. Like, uh, like how, what, in what way is, to him, like, what in way is, I don't know. I, I'd hate that whole, like, mindset of, it kind of goes in the similar thing. Well, not always, not, it's not, like, you need to play, like, a mature video game to really play a video game. Isn't the same as, more, well, I guess it, 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 it does, but not necessarily with real better, real equals better. I gotta go through this portal shit again. Maybe he's right. Nah, man. No, but he would say the same thing about Persona. He'd look at play Persona and probably... He, he's talking... I don't know. He wants me to play like fucking... Uh, like the, un, he was talking about like the Uncharted games the other day or whatever. 
And he's like, no, I, why do I want to play? And I was like, why would I want to play a fucking movie? If I want to fucking... Uh, I don't know. Elden Ring and stuff is different, because that's like, that's not realistic at all. I like I like those games. He wants me to get Elden Ring so we could play it co-op on his second run-through. And I might, but I don't know. I feel like I kind of went, I've kind of... My, my Dark my Souls phase is a little over. I was like watching a lot of people play that game and I was like, oh yeah, Dark Souls. And now I'm kind of back. Now I'm kind of out of it. Like, that ass ain't even a movie. What the fuck do you mean? Those games are just nothing but quick time events, my man. Uh, did I fuck up? I don't think I want to be. Wow, wow, wow. This goes here. How did I do this my first try and now I just can't? It's a third person shooter, you fucking... Listen, I don't care. I don't play... Because I don't play video... I want a game that tests my... Like, I don't know, like I, I can actually have skill at. Like a Mario, or a Sonic, or a Kirby. That's why I like platformers, because platformers really... You need skill to be good at those video games. This is what Nintendo games does to a person. Listen, man, it, if, here's the thing. Th this man has got nothing to blame. My brother has no one to blame but himself for me, like, because that's what we had. We had a GameCube, and we had a Nintendo 64, and he would always play, like, Mario Baseball and party with me and shit, and that's what we played when we had people over. And also at my grandma's, there was a Super Nintendo we played, so if there's anyone to blame, it's him. So he's always complaining to me, like, you, why do you only play Nintendo games, man? It's kind of cringe, and it doesn't say that, but, you know, I'm paraphrasing. And I'm, I'm like... You created me. You created this. Shut up then. You don't know shit. What am I... What is this... What is the point of that? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that's nothing. I'm trying to see if maybe I could cheese... The, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here actually, but... There we go. Okay, that's a nothing floor. All right. <laughs> How much longer did Link's Awakening come? Because Link's Awakening, in a similar vein to Majora's Mask, is a direct sync sequel with the same Link and everything. I didn't want to fall off video game. Stop putting me at the door! For the love of God. I don't know, I'm just not a fan of, like, big, triple... I don't know. Because when I... I don't know. God damn it. Because 95% of the time when I look at a fucking big, triple A game, they should all look the same to me. It's real world. It's devastated. It's depressing. There's... Uh... I don't know. Right? I don't know. I am think I'm wasting my magic here. I gotta save my magic. You never know when I'm gonna need this shit. Let me just go into the next room. I'm pretty sure this door's open. Oh, well, I don't have the big key, so that is unfortunate. Ah, okay. I need to go on the other side, I think. Do you, you see how stupid I sound when I say that? All platformers play the same. I mean, you're not tech... I mean, generally... When you get down to the minute details. I guess that's not what I'm not looking at is the minute details. Like, obviously, like... I don't know. I think just seeing... I think growing up in an era where everyone was, like, playing the Call of Duty games and that was, like... And that was, like, the, like, oh, you, you don't want to be a pissy baby, play Call of Duty. I think that's kind of definitely shaped my, my thoughts on more realistic games. Yo, there's a fucking wall master in here, too. You know, I don't know. I think... And a brother that also... I don't want to be picked up by that, man. I refuse. I think that's also, you know... And be, also having a brother that played, like, Gears of War and shit and be, would be like... I don't know. I don't know. When he talks to me about video games, he just sounds very condescending. Like, not to get... Not to, like, unload any baggage or whatever, but he always sounds pretty condescending about my tastes in things. Like, when I say stuff like, I don't, like, I don't really... Ugh. I'm gonna fucking die. Do I have a fairy? I think I do. There we go. Give me that. 
Dude, Gears is goaded. I don't know. Yeah, but it's a big shoot game. I, what's interesting about being a big military man in, 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 I don't know, there's like five other games that are like that. It, like the early 2000s, like 2008, around, that's like around the time when so much shit was polluted with, with big shoot, big shoot military man game. That just doesn't, it doesn't interest me. I'd rather play something like this with monsters and fucking, or like Mario, you know, I wanted something with, that's interesting. With inter It's probably, I think maybe some of it comes from the fact that I do like to draw. So I'm like, I don't know why I don't like drawing normal human man. I never draw a normal human man, because why would I draw that when I could draw fucking anything my mind could fucking conjure? I think that's the basis with me, is like, why would you ever want to play as like... Why would you ever want to play like a military, realistic game? You know, obviously, you could just have it be like, I don't know, like, uh, real world, but it'd be like over the top, like Metal Gear or some shit, but... I don't know, like, why, I don't know. Why would you ever want a game to be realistic when that's, when you could do anything you've ever wanted? I like Gears 2 and 3 all right, too. I mean, I'm not saying they're bad games. Like, when I say these things, I'm not saying they're bad games. I'm just saying they I have virtually no interest. What is, what is, what is going on here? Oh, were there more torches? There were. I need to go back. I see, I see. Uh, I see. I see now. I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. <sighs> All right. Metal Gear Solid and COD are both military shoot, yet two different. I know that's what I'm saying though. Is like that's I. That's what I'm saying is that like you can do something. No. Let me try that again. Bro. I need to do this faster. I need to be faster. Got it. There we are. Uh, but you can, you know, you can make it, I don't know. Like I said, I just don't, I don't understand why you would want to have something so grounded. And the same reason why, I, like, I don't like to watch movies that are just, like, real life either. Because it's like, I don't know. Where's the, where's the fun in that, my man? <laughs> I've seen how many people are here. Why did that not go? Oh, I fucked up. Okay. I'm gonna run out of fucking bombs right now, dude. Fuck. So close. There we go, that'll do it. There we are. I gotta do it again. That's that's not gonna be it. I need I'm out! I should have got bigger bombs. Great. All right. Well, I just got to go in this room now, I guess. No, this room is bullshit. I got to go up. Or I could just redo it. What am I doing? I have rewind. I refuse to fail. I refuse to fail. I, 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 I have god powers. Why would I ever need to go up and get more bombs when I have... I could just... All right. There we go. That's what I'm talking. Teletubbies. If Teletubbies took over the world. I fucking watched Teletubbies as a baby. I loved... I, Tinky Winky's my main fucking man. Tinky Winky died, didn't he? The guy who was Tinky Winky? Rip Tinky Winky. I love the Teletubbies. I was a Barney... The compass, yep. I was a Barney and Teletubbies kid. That's what I was. I remember I watched, like... I would watch some of the early Barney shit, too. I'd watch, like, fucking... Uh, I'd watch... All right, I think I have a fairy. I'm, not, I'm just gonna let this happen. Never mind, I do not have a fairy. I cannot let this happen. Uh, I'm gonna need to take one of my drinks. Eh. Uh, but yeah, I was. I, I I remember I would watch some of the early Barney shit, man. The fucking, the fucking uh, like the perp when he was dark blue and he wasn't like that bright purple when he was like a deep deep bluish purple. I remember that shit. There's nothing. <laughs> oh! Alright. Uh, I, I wasn't a... 
I definitely, I had one Sesame Street, uh, fuck. I had one Sesame Street, uh, like, videotape I'd watch when I was young. But I, I, don't, I don't remember, well, I, mean, I don't remember watching too much Sesame Street. I'm, I keep fucking up. I need to w pay attention. I watched Veggie Tales as a kid, LMAO. I watched, like, a Veggie Tales movie. Maybe I watched a little bit of actual Veggie Tales, but not enough to remember. There we go. Art in the key. There we go. I need the... I need the fucking big chest. I don't even know what you get in here. What, like, uh, item you get. I should probably just run through this, huh? Yep. <sighs> fucking Mario. S Super Mario Brothers fire bars. Fuck you. You're not real. If I jumped over you, I could get coins. I can paper Mario. Okay. It's probably, uh, yeah. There we go. Man, they should just, when are they gonna make a Zelda maker? And we can get, like, Zelda 1, Z this, or Link Between Worlds style. One of the best main themes in a video game. MGS3 theme, Snake's Eater. That's, like, the famous one, right? The, the, dun, 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 dun. Or, no, that's just, like, a, like, a, like, a sting. That's not, I don't know if that's a whole track. I've never played a Metal Gear Solid. I've never played a Metal Gear game ever in my life. So I do not know. Okay, I'm back here. With nothing. I don't have the map yet. Uh, I need to figure out how to get up and around, I think. There's another way out in this room. I need to figure out this invisible pathway. It's not the Lens of Truth, right? The, the Lens of Truth didn't happen yet, did it? I thought Lens of Truth was, I'm still in a dream snake eater. I've never fucking listened. All I know about snake is his big, thick ass. And that's all I know. The clap of his ass cheeks alert the guards. There we go. Fuck! Okay, so there's a way... Okay, so I can't get over there. Uh, I got a remix in Smash Ultimate? Listen, man, I don't... I don't even think I have all the tracks in Smash... Because you gotta, like, buy them and shit. Right? Okay. Okay. All right, how do I get over here then? Uh, no. All right. No. No. Oh the fuck? I don't know this video game, man. I don't know what to do. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't know. Oh. Was I supposed to move faster? And it was... I blocked, like, in Kirby. I don't know why I just did that. I've been doing... I did... Just the other day, I did, like, another run of, like, Powerless in the True Arena in Forgotten Land. And, like, man, I think that's the easiest True Arena there is. What do, what do I need to do? Mm, there's two other rooms I haven't checked up here. I guess I could do that. I could also go downstairs. Uh, have I gone upstairs from here? Where does this lead? This leads back up here. Okay. Uh, next room, there's a way I can go up. That's not what I wanted. I wanted the hammer. Does the hammer take magic? No, it doesn't. Fuck. In other games, the... Yo, you can fucking hit it again to attack? That's pr I didn't know that. That's pretty sick. Um... In, uh... What was I saying? I don't even fucking remember anymore. There's a door up here. Yeah, I didn't go there. Let me do that, then. Whoop. 
What's your... Uh, we were... T so, okay, so we talked about... Did I? I thought I did go in here. I guess I did not. Uh, we talked about pre-Renaissance Disney movies. What's your guys' favorite re Renaissance Disney movie? I think, for me, it's got to be Aladdin. I'm a big Aladdin guy. And Lilo... Oh, Lilo and Stitch is still... Yeah, I actually... No, scratch that. Because Lilo and Stitch is also in that era. Then it's Lilo and Stitch. Lilo and Stitch is my, my favorite Disney animated movie. I love Lilo and Stitch a lot. I'm a, I'm a Stitch head. Alright, what's the other way out of here? There's a way before the bottom, it seems. Oh, there. I need a key for it, though. I don't got a fucking key. Uh. I gotta think about that. Like, yeah, I, I'm... There's something about Lilo and Stitch to me that I just love very much. The fact that we get, like... That Lilo and Stitch is a perfect... Much like Wander Over Yonder or Kid Cosmic, it's a... Well, maybe not so much those two shows, but it's a perfect example of, like... A show that is a down-to-earth part of, you know, a movie that has a down-to-earth part of, you know, with Lilo and... And what's the sister's name? What's the sister's name? I don't remember. Mm, I could always go back to floor three, I suppose. Uh, I forget. the big uh, Lilo and the big sister, right? They have, like, their down-to-earth connection of, like, oh, she's gonna be taken by child services, which is actually really fucking real. Uh, a little too real, and then... But then you have the alien stuff. I've heard some people that say they think the alien stuff drags down the mo movie. But on, like, rewatches, they've come to appreciate the, the alien bits. I'm gonna be... I'm gonna die again. I think... I'm. Um, this is pointless. Let me go back to the beginning of the dungeon. Uh, alright. It's already been 42 minutes, what the fuck?! When did that happen? 40 minutes of I'm doing nothing? This just leads back here. Um... I can't go in that room because I need a key. Uh... I'm here. Hey, Clueless. We are just talking about what's your favorite Disney Renaissance movie. I was saying Lilo and Stitch. I need... How do I get in there? Have I gone? Let me go back here. Wait a minute. Have I gone to the side and gone up? Uh, some can just alternate Barney song. Someone can just alternate Barney song. I don't watch too many of them, so I can't say. I mean, they're, I mean, uh, like I was saying, mine's... Did I go up here? Yeah, this is just the other... This is just also downstairs. So how do I... Get in there? It says I've been in there. How do I get in there? Uh... How do I even open this door? Oh, this is like right. Yeah, this is the block. This is the block. What is it called? The cane of Samari Soma so Sonario? Fucking stop! You just listen to my song. What song? What are you talking about? Oh, the one you put in the yeah. For, yeah, I know. I yeah. I like. I, I like the, the music I have in like my playlist. My YouTube favorite music play is like all is like a lot of bumping songs. You know what I mean? That's my. Like, I'd like a slow song every now and then, but... What the fuck? Is that... Stop. Mm... I guess I didn't kill everything in here, God damn it. If I die, whatever, it's not like the biggest deal in the world. Uh, I just need to figure out where I need- where I go next. That's my problem right now. What the fuck, he wore an electric! Leon Stitch was pretty good from what I saw of it, though. So, we continue. Um, let me go upstairs again. Maybe there's something I missed. I definitely need a key to get past this door up here. I should have just grabbed the key and came back up here. Instead of fiddling. 
Well, I need the boss key, so I need to. So it's definitely downstairs. I need to mess with downstairs more. Uh. And let me go this way again. I think what I need to do in that one pitch black room that I had, like, floors up here. I think I need to do the same thing, but that should be quick enough to get to the next room. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Oh, also, hey, Mario. I watched the, uh... I just picked this up like a fucking Mario 3. Like a Mario 2 turnip. Ah. I watched Nightmind's video on... On the Monument Mythos series. It was alright. It's okay. I mean, I don't think it's anything fantastic. I think it's a perfectly fine ARG, but... Not, like, uh... Mm. Nothing really I haven't seen before, you know? I, I think what I'm kind of getting sick of in a lot... Nope, that's not what I wanted. I think what I'm getting sick of a lot in these ARGs is just, like, they, they all kind of go by the numbers a little bit. I don't know. It would be nice to see one of them break the formula. I need to run. I need to be faster than that. There we go. Nope. Please. Got it. Alright, so I'm back in this room. Mm hmm. I need. I think I might. I may need to go to that teleport room also. Uh, give me bombs. Bombs. God damn it! Fuck you, Gibdos. Get out of my face, please, for the love of God. God damn it. Please. Please! I need two! There we go. That's not gonna make it in time. Nope. That, I fucked that up. This is what happens when you're bad at video games, all right, fellas? This is what happens, is that you fuck up multiple times and you, that you thank God for allowing Rewind to exist. What the fuck do you mean that didn't reach? There we go. I got a key here that just led me back down to this room. Get out of here. You actually do too much damage. I hate the red ones. What even are these things? They're fucking gross. There we go. I could actually use a heart again if it respawned. Thank you. Where am I right now? I'm up here. And then I run down the hallway. Yeah. Uh, oh, fuck. Let me respawn this room, because, yeah, I knew the floors are going to start coming at me. Uh, sorry if this is a bit of a boring stream. You th I think it, I th you'd think it'd be more exciting, because, you know, it's the finale, but then I, I'm a horrible... Co Please! But then I'm a horrible commentator. Fuck you. I don't know why, but okay... But, okay, KO got a lot. What do you mean it got a lot of hate? I've never seen people really hate on that. I always see people fucking love that fucking, that show. I'd love that show. It was a pretty damn good-ass show. I mean, it's, I like, I don't know if it beats uh, some shows, but I mean, it's good. It's fun to, like, watch. I love Boxman as a character. I wish Boxman had gotten more spotlight in the series. That's the only thing I wish. The Sonic episode was good. The Sonic episode was very good. Mm, I need to turn this down for me so I can save my sanity with the ringing. You guys have to fucking deal with it. No, no. This room doesn't do anything. There's no point to this room. 
What's even the point of this? Just to get back around? All right, well, that's all right. Cartoon Network uh, kept trying to sabotage the show. Yeah, that was one thing. Like, uh, I'd so shitty to see, like, networks, like, is intentionally sabotage shows. Oh, please. I just need to get the big goddamn key. That's all I need. And I can't get over here because I don't even know how I get over there. Wait a minute. If I hit that, one second, wait. Uh, can I hookshot my way? I haven't. Maybe I haven't been thinking hard enough here. All right, never mind. And I'm dead. I wasn't seeing hate on the art style for OKKO. OK Why you say what? How could people hate the OKKO OK art style? It's so like uh, seeing that makes me feel better about how like when I draw. I feel like sometimes when I draw uh, char you know, characters. Every time I draw them, it looks different, and I feel bad about it. But maybe I shouldn't. Because, like, K okay, KO is, like, super off-model, but it's, like, great. All right. Uh... Fuck. I need to go back all the way around. <sighs> what do I do? I'm so confused. Like, there's that separated room, so maybe I do need to go back to the warp pad room. I like the Iron Star a lot, too. The show is even cuter for that IMO. Mm -mm -mm. I still think the thing that... The two things that have probably influenced my art style the most over the years are definitely, like, Bone and Adventure Time. I was... I don't know. Bone for, like, the thing I've said before, like, cartoon characters in a bigger situation and then in a bigger... Like, a big story and then Adventure Time. I, I don't know. I just like how things look in Adventure Time, man. How I draw, like, mouths or expressions, it definitely helped. Uh, people also love to complain about the cow. I haven't heard anyone complain about that in a while, but yes, that people still do. Fuck you. All right, let's try to do this again. Let's go all the way around. Nope, I can't do that. I am out of bombs, as it appears. Hmm. Well, this is fucked up. I cannot progress. Um... I'll have to hope and pray one of these Gibdos has a bomb in them. If not, I am going to be... I got a reborn. I've heard it's really... It's fucking good, man. The only... Uh-oh. Fuck, dude. I can't do anything. Uh, I need bombs. Oh, am I... Do I really need to fucking leave the dungeon to get bombs, man? Bro. It's already been an hour or two, my man, and I've hardly even gotten through this dungeon. Um... There's still so many floors! There are so many floors! And I haven't even- I'm just gonna look up a fucking walkthrough, man. This is bullshit. I don't care anymore. Uh... I'm gonna rewind as far back as I possibly can so I have bombs again. Never mind. All right. Got to look up a walkthrough for Ganon's Tower because I don't know. I'm already stuck. Hmm. Ganon's Tower walkthrough. This dungeon looks really fun. It's. I mean, it's. It like if I knew what to do, I'd be having fun with it. I don't mind having doing a long dungeon. Just that. Uh. Yeah. There are four moles. Yep, I get... Yep. Yep. Use the small key at the... Oh, wait a minute. I might be able to... Uh, I might be able to use the rod to do that with the bombs. I could not with the bombs. Potentially. Possibly. Because then I could, I could explode the block. Uh... Let me do this again. I just feel bad for you guys, because you're just seeing me go through the same rooms over and over again, probably missing the complete obvious, like, solution of what I gotta do next. Oh, I'm out of bombs. I was about to be like, where's the, what's that empty spot in my inventory? Come on. There we go. There we go. Uh... 
Yeah, okay. This is just basically bombs again. Why would I ever need, like, I could use this for switches. There we go. Uh, let me see. Let me look at the walkthrough. It sucks that, uh, that a infinitely titled art style is based on a prestige art college. Like, man, yeah, right? Like, that's where you, like, uh, everybody that's ever probably made an animated feature you've seen has probably been to color. Yep, do that, do that. Yep. Make your way to the top of the screen. Oh my f I'm going to... I thought I tried this and this didn't work. I guess... I I feel like there are times where I try to do the right thing that the, the walkthrough says to in this game. And then it's just like... No, you didn't do it right, apparently. You did, you, that's the right thing, but you somehow fucked it up. And it... Uh, I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm actually going to lose my mind. This hap this is what cuz I don't Is this my luck like I'm a pixel off from doing the actual thing I'm I'm meant to do. All right, I got to go all the way around. Maybe I think you might get the red tunic in this dungeon, which is like the last uh, defense upgrade. What's even the point of the, having this teleport? At least, like, that specific one. Uh, so I got six people here. I'm so sorry about my stupidity, the six people that are here. My bad. Please forgive me. Well, of course, you don't have to go to a certain art college to make it a, the big shot. The see art college is helping you build your talent career, and when they supply you with the lessons and material to do so. Yep, there's a fucking bug on my desk. I just crushed him with my water bottle. I'm sorry, bug, but you were in my domain. That's the only reason I did so. All right. So, listen, to be fair, I don't know what walls and walls I can't throw this through. That's not my fault, all right? Uh... Fuck you. There we go. Easy, got it, gaming. I don't need the walkthrough anymore. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Oh, a bomb. Thank the... Thank, thank the... Wait a minute. Do I still have the image? Yes, thank the Lord. I found another bomb. All right. I could also get a fairy right here. I didn't want it. I will... I can get another one. Just gonna fucking... It's making me waste my magic right now. Because each time I get hit by this thing, it also takes away my magic. I didn't want it! Whatever. Ten arrows. Oh my god. What do I do in this room now, though? I filled up on bombs. I do gotta look at the walkthrough. I'm sorry. Well, it did it very early in my search. That being said, looking at art colleges and applying college did not... It crossed my mind once. I'm not really considering that. Well, that's also a thing for, like, you'd have to go to California for that. Okay. I see which one, which which hole I must bomb. Maybe I should have got the better, the bigger bomb sack. I just didn't want to. I didn't feel like it. I didn't feel like it. Oh, fuck. Boss rush. All right. Thank God the bows don't take... Thank God the bows... Oh, now they only take one hit. These dudes are fucking piss easy now. Come on. Come on. I don't even need the arrows anymore. Okay, I do still. You still take you out in one? It's always weird that it's the light arrows that are, like, the definitive... Like, you get the Master Sword, right? Everyone remembers the Master Sword and knows the Master Sword. But it's really the light arrows that... It's really the light arrows that, like, stop you from dying to Ganon. Ooh, another bomb of wall. Remember how in Breath of the Wild you just get the light arrows at the last second? That is, unless you have the amiibo, I suppose. Keep it in a bottle. Keep it in a bottle. Two fairies, baby. Two fairies. And full health. All right, there we go. Don't tell me I have to go back up and down because I chose this path instead of up. Oh, my lord. All right. 
Well, I can just go down, and it's fine. Stop! Mm-hmm. Hopefully after this, it's smooth sailing. Because, like, this is what happens in this game. I'll get, like, uh, caught up in one little thing in the dungeon. And then after that, it's, like, easy peasy. There we go. They got, like, it's just one thing. And then it just, like, just halts all my progress. And then when I figure out that one thing, I'm like... The same thing would happen with, like, the one dungeon with the red man. When I didn't know how to kill the red man. And I tried using arrows. But the game said, no, that's not how you do it. And I was like, but what do you mean it is? And it was a game like, oh, yeah, you're right. Fuck the, that dude. Fuck that dungeon. I have one bomb left. Down the hole. Please don't tell me these guys respawned. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Alright. I do need the arrows. I'm, I don't have a lot of... I always forget I have a limited supply of arrows, too. I'm sure they'll give you enough when it's time to fight Ganon. I can't imagine you'd be soft-locked when you fight Ganon. Alright. Alright. That's enough. Bro, I'm actually about... Bro! This is fucking... <laughs> that, sorry, that started to annoy me. That has started to annoy me, I'll be honest. I remember when Mr. Krabs sold Spongebob for 62 cents. That Why'd he do that? That was kind of fucked up. I feel like Mr. Krabs would be my favorite character if, like, beside... Even though he had his cheapness. Please give me the big key. Oh, thank... The... Thank the Lord! I love that. I think I'm getting too much mileage out of that image. I think someone needs to take that image away from me. He's just fucking praying to, like, real-ass Jesus. It's not like a fake goddess. It's just real-ass Jesus. And that's, like, not even Zelda 1 artwork. That looks like this artwork for this game. Why is he praying the juicy crust? The comedically big key. The, com co the man brings out a comically large spoon. Yeah, it's the red tunic. All right, well, I can go upstairs now. Finally. Thank God I don't have to be in, this, in these dank bottom rooms anymore. Wait, I, let me just... Why don't I just do this? I guess them having the mirror send you back to the start of a dungeon can also be a godsend. So you don't have to go back. Look, I've got a purple hat now. I look like fucking... Who do I look like with this red and green? Uh, boomerang? There we go. Hey, is what... Isn't there... Didn't like the fucking... I'm talking about... I, what, I, I know this doesn't have anything to do with anything. Oh, I got a... F Falk. Uh. There we go. I know this doesn't have anything to do with anything, but I was just thinking about it because I thought of the word boomerang. Didn't like the craters of... App, like, they're, you know, Netflix is making... First of all, Netflix. Fuck you, Netflix. I think we can all agree on that. As of, re as of recently, Netflix is not... Uh you know, in in good eye in the public. Santa Claus, yes. Uh, but, um... I need to get these guys now. Bro, please. Bro, my man. There we go. Uh, but, like, Netflix is doing, like, that live-action Avatar show, and, like, didn't the creators leave it? You know how that, and that's going to be bad. There's already signs it was going to be bad because, like, they're aging up Katara to be older than Sokka, which off the bat ruins ruins his, like, like at least the start of what his character is. You know, obviously it becomes more, but at the beginning... Oh, fuck. At the beginning, that's, that is what his whole character is, that he's, like, the big brother that, like, is, like, needs to be the leader or whatever. So that already ruins his character right off the bat. But also, you know the only reason they're doing that is so, like, they can bring out drama of, like, oh, will Katara be with Aang or Zuko? Oh, like, that's gonna be the fucking bit. That's gonna be the bit in that in that live-action show. Mm. Kind of goes along with the same thing of, like, the live-action... Oh, fuck. Stop! I refuse. Oh, no, I have two fairies. It's fine. This is fine. Uh, kind of goes the same thing with the live-action, like, Disney movies. Like, why... Why would you ever... 
Like, for video game, it makes sense to, like, make remakes of video games. Because, you know, like, oh, these things. Because, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, it's a video game. You, you can make it mechanically better. For, like, a movie, it's just, it, it's just like... I'm going to actually shit my pants. But with a movie, it's like, why do, why do you... A movie is, like, the same forever. It never gets, like... Age doesn't affect a movie like like it affects a video game, you know what I mean? You could go you could watch a movie from 40 years ago and it's still like a good movie. You play a video game from 40 years ago, it's going to be clunky to control and you know you're going to have some trouble with it. But with a movie, it's always good. I would love to see more Nintendo Nintendo remake some of their games. Like the only games they've ever really remade are the Zeldas and I guess Mario 64. I want to see more Mario remakes. Even though I guess with 2D games, how can you really improve on like the 2D games, I suppose? I'm trying to That opens nothing. There is a... I don't know what to do. I don't want to fuck with that. And some Kirby. Like, yeah, I, I, you know, I kind of look at HAL different... HAL... Listen, you know what? Nintendo don't, doesn't even fucking own HAL Laboratories. They're just, like, super cool. Like, not, they're not even a subsidiary. They just... They're, they just... Like, if, the, if HAL really, really wanted to, HAL could put, a like, Kirby in the Forgotten Land on PS5. They absolutely could if they really wanted to. So, I, when they do shit, I see that, you know. That's their own thing. I still think a remake of Amazing Mirror, or at least, if please, for God willing, if the, all the GBA rumors for NSO are true, have let me be able to play Amazing Mirror multiplayer, please. Please, for the love of God, please. If they can do it, listen, if they can emulate the Link, Link Game Boy Link cables with fu the fucking Pokemon Game Boy, normal Game Boy games, I think you can... I have another fairy. You can fucking make it work for for NSO. You could like trade Pokemon in red and blue, like the original red and blue on your 3DS eShop. I think you should be allowed to, you know what I mean? Especially like everyone should be have their own screen. Though will it be good? That's the that's the whole question, isn't it? I hate this ice floor. I'm hating this ice floor. Like in the actual dungeon it was in, it wasn't that big of a deal. But in this, it's actually... This is horrid. This is uh, this is absurd. I'm hoping there are hearts in here. There are not. There's one. Bro. Bro! Please, for the love of God! I'm just... I'm, t I'm cutting my losses. I don't, I'm not getting... Bro! I can't even fucking dodge it, my man. My brother in Christ. My, 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 my brother in Christ. Oh, I, I gotta fight this dude again. Three of them. This time with a thing shooting at me. That's pretty cool. Uh, I do like a good boss rush, but you know, when you fucking die at every 12 seconds, it's kind of not fun. It's kind of not fun when you fucking die and would have to trek all the way back here. I wish I had enough money to get two red potions. Cool. Not like it's bad enough because they shoot out an octagonal thing of rocks. Uh. Bro. For the... My brother in Christ, please. Mm -hmm. I'm glad game video... Like, listen. Uh, old video games were hard in a way that, like, wasn't fun. You know, like... You know, now... You know, there are hard games. Like, you know, there's shit like Cuphead. But, like, in something like Cuphead, you're like, oh, no, this is my fault. You know what I mean? And stuff, shit like this, it feels like just like bullshit, man. And I'm rewinding because it'd take more time. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if I hadn't rewound in this game at all? 
how much this would be like stream fucking 11. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Okay. I refuse. You know what? I refuse. Okay, never mind. You can't go the other way. Okay, and that's also... Please! I'm act I'm gonna have a fucking hernia. <laughs> Maybe you're just bad. Maybe that could- it very well could be. Oh, thank you, God. Bro. Do I need to go- Do I need to go all the way to the edge? Bruh. Let me have that, please. Oh, thank you. Oh, I need to kill them all. Can I just... Can I... Can I boomerang? Oh, I can. No, I can't. Fuck. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought I was... I thought I was... I, had, I would have to go the other way. Oh, thank you. Thank you, the three goddesses. <laughs> that dude just fucking fell down. That was kind of funny. So these aren't whiz robes, because we met... Or are these whiz robes? These just look like Death from Adventure Time with his, like, funny little hat. That was an underutilized character in that show. I liked Death a lot. It was kind of sad that he couldn't, he couldn't have voice lines in uh, the Distant Lands episode together again because his voice actor died. Easy. Fuck you. Uh, fire rod, please. Are you kidding me? Are you shitting me? All right, let's try that again, bro. I'm walking diagonally. My man, when he walks diagonally. Wait, can I? I might be able to gamer this. No, I can't gamer this. Let me just do it the intended way. <laughs> okay. My brother. In Christ. In, in in juicy crust. Got it. We're good. Alright. Thank you. Heart. This is... No, you can't do this to me. You can't do this to I made this company! You know what I had to sacrifice? That's the best scene. I fucking love Willem Dafoe Green Goblin so much. He's so good. All right. Um, hey, can you not? Oh my lord! I keep I'm saying that a lot today. I think it's the link image tainting my brain. Why did I just slip off? Okay, cool. So this is what I'm talking about. Like this isn't fun. Like ha like having to avoid this shit isn't. Like why did I just slide? Why did I just slide? Please let me in. Oh. Uh, stop. Please, I'm trying to, I'm trying to look at how many people are watching the stream right now, game. Please. Please. I'm actually, I'm never playing, I'm never playing this game again, ever in my life. I'm never doing this again. No, I like this game. It's just a, it's a little absurd, man. It's a little absurd. Let me look at how many people. All right. Give me that. Oh, yeah. Stop! Please. Bro. More bombs. It's probably bomb bullshit I need to do. Not a lot of, like, getting a key going to another room in this dungeon. It's just kind of... Oh, you need the key. There it is. I see what I need to do. Okay, I need to... Close! I just need to go farther. There we go! <gasps> Let me in! Okay. Now, what the fuck do I do here? I know the bow and arrow can go over this. So we're good on that. There we go. 
Key. Yes. Easy, easy. Gaming. Uh-oh. This thing just fucked me, hitting me. Please, stop! I only have half a heart. This whole game has just been me going through... No! 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 Not you! Why you? Why you? Of all the bosses, why you again? Oh, he's already dead. I got the best sword upgrade, so it doesn't even matter. You better give me some fucking hearts. Drop a fairy. Bro, these things don't even drop a goddamn fairy. Uh... Duck shot. Fucking whoopies. Alright, we're leisurely making our way up. I will say, it, it, something kind of fun about this dungeon, it really does make you... It really make... Oh, God. Imagine being dying right here. Imagine me actually letting myself die and starting over the dungeon. Could you imagine? Kids in the 90s had it rough. Mmm. Imagine. No! Please, let me up the stairs. Let me up the stairs! Let me up. Let me up! Hey, it's that guy. Hey, it's my man. Squirm, squirm boy. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! Oh, we're here! Agonim rematch. Oh, it's great that you could come all the way here, Link. I'm very happy to see you again, but you'd better believe that we will not have a third meeting. Prepare to meet your doom. Oh, can you hit him multiple times now? Bro, you just gave me more ammo. Unless you do the big lightning. There we go. I don't think he's, he's gonna, not going to do ball again. He did do ball again. Does he only do ball now? Watch, he's not going to do ball this time. No, he did do ball. I refuse. There we go. Why would 90 kids want to remember this? What? What are you talking about? I mean, like, why would 90 get... No, I just don't understand how 90 kids could subjugate themselves to this without rewind. I just can't imagine... I can't imagine playing this without rewind. Like, for certain games, like, Super Mario Brothers, the, it being hard is kind of fun. Wait, that changed. Like, I just rewinded a little bit, and that changed. That's fucking weird. Oh, thank God he's dead. There he is! There he is! Oh, so Agnum is a different person. Oh, he's dead. Okay, now the bird comes to my aid. Now he'll fucking fast travel me to the Dark Pyramid. You know, in a modern game, they'd give you, like, a full heal right before the boss. Uh, oh, wait, I can go do it. Oh, I can actually go heal. Oh! I can go heal. Uh. You know what I'm gonna do? That's not what I wanted. Because this is right where the castle is, right? Okay, well, I can't be standing here. <laughs> I can go he- I can go to the- I can go buy some fucking red po- I can go to a fairy fountain even. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, video game, for not being so cruel. Alright. Ocarina. You son of a- Oh, wait, actually, wait. This might not be a bad idea, because that dark world thing will stay, and then I can get a full heal. Then I can go get my- Then I can go get my fucking- uh, Start from Link's house. And then I can go get the, the heat potion. And then I can go back to the dark world. Fucking easy, man. Because, yeah, it's still right there. Oh! Being bad at the game turned good for me for one second. All right. I don't think I can buy the, um... <laughs> That's on 160. Yeah, I can't buy that one. I could buy this one once, though, at the very least. Uh, and I can go to a fairy fountain. If I know where one is. Isn't there, uh... 
I'm trying to think where there's a fairy fountain. Isn't there one just above Kakariko Village? Please, I want to go to three. There we go. Yeah, isn't there one up here near the near the hut? Or I could even I I could just go talk to the fortune teller. Because he gives me a full heal for whatever reason. And I got I could fucking spare the money. I don't give a shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ask him to tell it. What does he even say? Uh, you'll find treasure resting in peace in the graveyard. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. All right. Time. Let's. It's time to end this. And it's about the time of a normal stream, so I don't gotta worry about this being too short. Wait, do I even need to do this? Yes, I do. It'll be faster. Uh, time to fucking end this second Zelda game down. One less stream than I needed to, uh, for, uh, for Ocarina of Time. But Ocarina of Time is also so much more obtuse. With every Zelda game, though, I get better at the video game. Uh, and hopefully as I go into the future of the games, I'll actually, you know... When I get to things like Wind Waker, I'll probably be in a, you know... Oh, no. Oh, I was about to be like, please tell me there's a way up. I was about to shit. Because Alice, would you get up here again? Alright, here we go. Let me take a sip of water. Hmm. I never imagined... I never imagined a boy like you could give me so much trouble. It's unbelievable that you defeated my alter ego, Aghanim, the Dark Wizard, twice! But I will never give you the Triforce. I will destroy you and make my wish to conquer both light and dark worlds come true without delay. Uh, I don't know how this fight goes. Uh... Oh, I just hit him right now? When do I have to use the fucking actual arrows? Oh, and I got the beam! I don't even need to be near him right now. This is my favorite weapon for Ganon, though. Like, I don't know why... Gerudo Ganon doesn't fucking use his trident more often. I love the trident. It seems to be in his depictions on the walls in Breath of the Wild, too, so let's hope maybe it makes a reappearance. Like, you know, sure, okay, fine, Ganondorf has swords in some games or whatever, but, like, this is where it's at. This is where... Uh, this is his true... the true weapon of Ganon. Heck, in Four Swords, it's even the whole reason he becomes Ganon. He, like, grabs it and becomes, like, a... you know, it becomes the... the big monster. That does nothing yet. Okay. I'm just wasting arrows. Uh... Like that? Like, I don't know. Like, why doesn't he have some of these moves? Why can't he have, like, a Fire Bat as a move in Smash Bros? Human Ganondorf's cool and all, but none of these Ganons ever have enough personality. The most personality you ever get out of Ganondorf... Oh, I need the potion. Is like fucking, uh... Is fucking in Wind Waker when he's like, I I learned that I actually wanted to do it for my people. Like he actually, actually had some character development. This is where the floor goes away. Yo, this is just the Bowser fight in Mario 64. Uh, taking away, like, the arena. Making it star-shaped. Do I have to hit him before, like, he takes away the whole floor? You're doing well, lad, but can you break through the secret technique of darkness? On guard! Well, now, now I need the... Yeah, now... Oh, no, I need... When do I need the light arrow? The silver arrows? I haven't needed them yet. Oh, now I need them. There we go. Okay, I don't think I gotta worry about... So I just gotta switch between my fire, my rods, and my silver arrows right now. Ah, you bitch. Oh, you didn't even... I like when we're because he's got his big schnoz. I think I just like because he looks the most like a wizard he's ever really looked. Bro. How do I do this?
Oh, yep. And then, bing. Uh, bomb. Did I just win the video game? Yo, did I just win the Link to the Past? That was an easy... That boss fight was not that bad. I guess that's one good thing about... Ocarina of Time definitely had a more climactic fucking final boss. And here's the 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 Triforce, the S the Super SFX chip Triforce. Welcome, Link. I am the essence of the Triforce. Wait, the essence of the Triforce, you mean? Juicy Krust? I am the essence of the Triforce. The Triforce will grant the thy wish in the heart and mind of the person who touches it. GG, you did it, I did do it. If a person with a good heart touches it, it will make his good wishes come true. If an evil-hearted person touches it, it grants his evil wishes. Yeah, like a genie. Like any wish-granting shit. The stronger the wish, the more powerful the Triforce's expression of that wish. This is like the only time the Triforce ever speaks. Oh, the Triforce better have something to do in Breath of the Wild too, because there's just like no mention it in the first one. It's kind of weird. Gen's wish was to conquer the world. That wish changed the Golden Land to the Dark World. Yo, these are some fucking Mario 2 curtains. Ganon was building up his power here so he could conquer the Light World and make his wish come completely true. The Triforce is a genie, basically. But now you have totally destroyed Ganon. His Dark World will vanish. The Triforce is waiting for a new owner. Its golden power is in your hand. I think this is the only time we have... No, in Wind Waker, the, tri the actual Triforce is there. Now touch it with a wish in your heart. Yo, it's coming together like in the intro. There it is. It's weird how, like, we don't really see the Triforce as a physical object a lot. I don't know if the Return of the King... So, I was gonna say, isn't the king dead? But then I guess maybe his wish is to bring back all these people. Yo, look at this dude. Look at his face. And the guards are reinstated as well, it seems. Loyal, loyal Sage Sanctuary. This fucking dude. Is Link gonna wish for the pizza dinosaur? What are you talking about? Sahasrila's homecoming, Kakariko Town. The twins. From WarioWare? Bro, from WarioWare? Uh, vultures rule the desert. Desert palace. Oh, there's the guy. Yeah, you bring the chest to him. But I don't know what the fuck was in it. I don't care. Probably uh, the fourth bottle or something. The bully makes a friend. Oh! So these guys are out of the light world. Dude, his face is literally... He's just as a ball-ass head. This dude looking like Olimar, but with no mouth or nose. Your uncle recovers. Recover? He was fucking dead! In the manga, they keep these people dead. And it's only in the video games are these dudes... Do these dudes come back to life. Zora's Waterfall. It's still so weird how these turn in, like, the next game is, like, Ocarina of Time. And these things turn into, like, beautiful fish... Hot fish men. Bomberman shaped ass. Mm -hmm. Twin lumberjacks. I never met these dudes. Okay. When I was now, I uh, no, I remember these dudes. When I was younger, I thought these dudes were just Hammer Brothers. I thought they were just a big reference to Hammer Brothers because they looked like they had a shell and everything. Loot boy. This dude also died, man. Come on, you're just retroactively canceling all these devs. Venus, Queen of the Fairies. That's how, like, that's the, the ye old and English way of saying fairies, because that's like the fae, right? You don't want to fuck with fairies. Fairy magic is scary, because, like, that's actually fucked up weird shit that if, like, you say your name, they'll take your name. I don't like that. It's weird. Creepy. God, we more hot in video games. These do not look like Hammer Brothers. They do look like Hammer Brothers from the side. Yes, they do. Because they got big fucking lips that look like the beaks. And then they got like the green tunics that look like shells that even have the white. 
Would have been better if they were hammer bros. The bug catching kid. Yo, why is this man farting? He's got white lines under him. The lost old man, Death Mountain. Yeah, where is he? Is he lost again? How do you get in there? He doesn't have a fucking hammer. In reality, you could just fucking... Uh, well, I guess that's... Spend your disbelief for video videos game. The forest thief, Lost Woods. Wouldn't better... Flick. Yo, Flick. Who my... What? Who? What? What are you talking about? I don't know who the hell you're talking about. And the Master Sword sleeps again. Forever. Until... Ocarina of Time. Or until they build a fucking church around it. Which is more iconic for the Master Sword to be in? The Lost Woods or the Temple of Time? I like it better in the four. I think that makes more sense. They did That's what they also did in Breath of the Wild. Which I like. Now we get the actual credits. Alright, well that was fucking Link to the Past. I like the dancing choo-choos. Hiroshi Yama... I don't know who that... Executive producer Hiroshi Yamuchi. That's not the current Yama... That's not the current guy that does it. Uh, producer Miyamoto, obviously. Tezuka. That's a name I recognize. Uh, the Forest, personally. Mm -mm. Script writer Kensuke Tan Tanabe. Ugh, oh, Tanabe. <laughs> uh, that name has uh, been soured for me because he fucked up my favorite video games. <laughs> Yahushi Yamora, Yochi uh, Yamada. Object designers. I want to see the people who did these sprites, because I very much do like all these sprites. They have a very nice, like, retro gaming adventure feel. Screen object. Is that is that those two? Is it those? Because that says object. It doesn't say character. Background designers. Program director. These dudes are the actual heroes that actually programmed the video game. Just to assume you get the chance to see a special surprise. What is this going to be? Oh, the y'all be drinking. Oh, I'm down. I'm saving this right now. Save image. I got to like copy the link and then put it in uh, Google Chrome and save it that way. One second. I got to get, I got to save this. Save image. Uh... Just do that. Save. I gotta get this. I gotta get this up. Add. Image. Oh, browse. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Well, this is darker than the original. Look! It's me praying to Yabi drinking the gender fluid. That's good. I love this. I love this, Wyatt. This is great. Yabi be drinking the gender fluid. I'm just gonna make this the thumbnail. I'm gonna make this the... I was gonna put Ganon in the thumbnail, but now this is gonna be the thumbnail. Me, me praying to Yabi. I like that. That's good. That's the good shit. I don't have a lot of Zelda music in my playlist, just because I don't think... Like I said, I don't think there's a lot of real... I like sentimental music, and I like bumping music. I don't really like... I don't know. I don't like slow stuff. Yabi drinking the gender fluid. I think that's one of my favorite drawings I've ever done. Is Yabi slurping up. Alright, yeah. So tomorrow, uh, if I'm feeling it, will be Metroid Prime 1 starting. It'll be the Metroid Prime trilogy. So I'll, have, I'll be on the Wii U. I'll be using the Wiimote. The good, best version. What is this? Is this how many times I died? Games. Is this how many times I died? I died way more than this video game. I'm sorry to say this to you. I've died, I put these up all by like 20. <laughs> and then that adds my actual death numbers. I still can't imagine little 90s gamers playing this game and not having... Like, that's gotta be fucking... That should be more like 70-something. Almost 100, it should be. Imagine playing this game in the 90s, not having rewind, just like having to start the dungeon over every fucking time. And this is back in the days when this was just the end screen, like this was it, there was nothing more.
Uh, I guess I will create... I'm going to save this in slot 2. Alright, well, uh, that was Zelda for tonight. I don't need to... No, no more. I can get rid of this, this scene now. I can get rid of all the Zelda shit. That was actually like a normal amount of time for a stream too. So that worked out perfectly. Alright. Thank you guys for coming. I'll be back most likely tomorrow. I, I think there's more than a high likely chance I will stream tomorrow. Uh, Metroid Prime 1. Uh, but, you know, until then, I'll be in the Discord chilling out. Uh, you know, whatever. You, you know, feel free to hang out in there, as always. Uh, I am going to go watch that prehistoric planet now. Later, I'll see you guys tomorrow.